Hello, residents of the Splatlands. I'm Crafty Type One, and Nintendo recently announced a Nintendo Switch OLED that is themed around Splatoon 3. And if you're like me, you want to know how to solidify your chances to pick up this Switch when it comes out. In this video, I'll be talking about the Nintendo Switch OLED model and some other products that are releasing alongside it, as well as how to pre-order each of them. So let's get into it. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by Inkbrush Academy, an awesome Discord server that has teamed up with me to give away a copy of Splatoon 3 to you guys. All you guys gotta do is click the link in the description below to join their server, head over to the announcements channel, and click the link to enter the giveaway. They're an awesome community that discuss a lot about Splatoon and a bunch of other Nintendo games. So don't forget to check them out, and let's go into the video. The Splatoon 3 OLED model is slated to come out August 26, a little bit before the official release of Splatoon 3. As of right now, it's only set to come out in three different regions, that being the UK, Asia, and the US. We'll go more in detail about the differences between the three later in this video, but the Switch is $10 more than the base model OLED. This is probably due to some paint and uh, other types of features, it being a special edition being one of them. Even with the extra price on top of it, this model does not come with a copy of Splatoon 3. I was a little surprised when I first heard about this, but it kind of makes sense because it's just around the same price as the base model and definitely not a big jump in price to include a full game. But if you guys didn't know, we also have an announcement of a Splatoon 3 Pro controller coming out the same day as Splatoon 3, as well as a Splatoon 3 carrying case that got announced alongside the OLED. This carrying case looks oddly like this Switch, so if you want a good carrying case to pair alongside your Switch, this would be it. Both the Pro controller and the case are coming out the same day Splatoon comes out, that being the 9th of September. Pro Controller is going to be $60 and the case is going to be $20 around base price. When it comes to pre-orders, unfortunately the people in the US have to wait, but I do have a little bit more information discussing when we can pre-order. But if you're in Asia and the UK, you actually are able to pre-order right now. The site I would use to pre-order if you're going to is my Nintendo store, of course the UK edition. Some stores like Amazon UK and Walmart UK actually already ran out of their stockage. But if you order straight from Nintendo, at least you'll know you're getting the console and not maybe and not not receiving it. It is going to be free shipping if you do decide to purchase it through my Nintendo store with free returns if you are interested. When it comes to Asia, I haven't been able to find a lot of sites. You're just going to have to take my word for it. But I believe if you go to Amazon Asia and uh, PlayAsia.com, you're able to pre-order it there. For my people in the United States though, we have to wait a little bit longer to even place pre-orders. Talking to my local GameStop owner, he revealed that there is currently a bidding war amongst the companies to get major stockage of the Splatoon 3 OLED. Once the bidding war does cease, it's up to the company itself to open pre-orders or not. So it doesn't sound like we're going to get any pre-orders on the US My Nintendo store. Judging by what my local GameStop owner said, he said we should be seeing pre-orders open up at GameStop around the beginning of August. And if we're going by that, should be other companies as well, like Target and Walmart. So if you want to solidify your purchase and make sure you get the OLED switch, make sure to be on the lookout at the beginning of August or late July. If you aren't able to get the pre-order, don't worry. Companies do hold extra stockage in the back or just in the front that aren't pre-ordered. For example, when I did buy the Animal Crossing OLED, you could check out that video on one of the top corners. I bought a non-pre-order version of the OLED Switch, the only one. So if you aren't able to pre-order it, just be the first in line. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear, but is an unfortunate fact. We gotta beat those scalpers somehow. But that is about it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy and found all this information helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below if you're picking up the OLED Switch or any of the other Splatoon 3 products. Don't forget to subscribe for more Splatoon 3 content like this and follow my Twitch in the description down below. Anyways, I'm Crafty Type one and I'll see you guys Hide in Gopolis Square, Octo Valley, Splatlands. <laughs> All right, goodbye.